Hello everyone. Today we will demonstrate how to perform basic hardware setup and configuration of AirLive router. Check out all the items in the box. Screw the antenna clockwise on the back panel. Adjust the antenna upward to ensure better wireless signal. Use the Ethernet cable connect to an ADSL modem and plug the other side into WAN port of AirLive router. Use another Ethernet cable connect to LAN port of AirLive router and plug the other side into computer. Connect the power adapter to DC jack. Before turning on the AirLive router, double check if the antenna is properly installed. Push the power button on the back to turn on the AirLive router. The power, status, lane, and Wi-Fi LED will be on. Wait for about one minute for the device to complete boot up. Hardware setup is completed. Now we shall process the next step to configure detailed settings of AirLive router. Basic configuration. To set up PC networks, first double click on the local area connection. Click on the properties. Scroll down and double click on Internet Protocol. Select Obtain IP address automatically. Click OK and close. Open the web browser and type in the default IP address, which locates in the product's quick installation guide. In this case, it's 192.168.1.254. Please enter the password and click Login. The default password is Alive. Choose Advanced Setup and click Enter. Then click at Primary Setup. Click at Change. To configure WAN type, please choose the WAN type which you are using and click Save. If you are not sure about the WAN type, please contact your Internet Service Provider for more information. In this case, we use PPPoE to demonstrate. Filling with the necessary information such as PPPoE account and password. We recommend to change connection control as auto reconnect, which will enable the router connect to internet automatically. Click Save to keep the configuration. It's strongly recommended to configure the wireless security. Please click Wireless to set up. For better security, please choose WPA2 PSKAES for wireless encryption and enter the pre-share key. Click Save and then click Reboot to restart. After Reboot, please click Status. If the IP address appears on the window, GW300R is successfully connected to the Internet. Problem settings for WAN and basic wireless configuration are now completed. If you have further questions, please feel free to visit our website at www.airlife.com. Thank you for watching.